What up, it's your boy Naftastic, and we're back for some cup action with the Stains Town Massive. Um, we're playing Welling United, who are a screw Premier side. So, it's going to be a bit of a challenge for me, even though it's the fourth qualifying round, and we've exceeded expectations even to come this far. I want to go beyond that, because if I want to maintain my playoff aspirations, I have to be at least competitive with teams of this level. Um... So it'll be interesting to see how we're doing this time. So far, I've been as a dominating proceedings, or at least highlight wise, um, because it's, I'm just a bit, I'm just a bit more comfortable in possession. But I mean, the quality, especially up front, could be a difference maker here. I mean, they also look quite confident on the ball, and there you go. That finish was very, very good, and three, three ball was probably just. Just equally as sumptuous, unfortunately for us. <laughs> but it's okay, there's plenty of time left of the game, and we're still putting the waves of attacks together. Oh, good effort there. And we're doing a good job at it, I'd say. We're trying to come back down, we're showing a good temperament, a good set of, like, you know, the desire to persevere. Oh, I had the ball in the back of the net, but it did look like it should be disallowed. So not a bad first half, for one note down obviously, which isn't the best. But there could be worse scenarios, that's for sure. Well it looks like um Welling are actually getting some confidence to keep hold of the ball and sort of knock it about. Which is a bit concerning for me and maybe I should bring on some fresh legs. So I'll bring on Theophanus for uh sorry, a commush. And let's see how you can do. He's got what? 40 minutes, sorry, 30 minutes in, oh yes, I going to say he said 35 minutes in press, but instantly we get that reply, and it was the assistant manager, I mean, I can't ask for any more of that guy, he's one of my key midfielders, and he just bosses, both in the traditional sense, and on the pitch, which is great news for me, because ideally, I'd want someone out there who I could pass down the instructions and it'd be listened to. And he presents that perfect po fo sorry, not foil, foil between the two. So I think he's got to be a key player for me, but seven minutes left to go and I can see to Welling United, um, which is a shame. But there you go, there's the equaliser. Sanchez main gets another brilliant stuff. You know, that just is a testament to our sort of confidence in our own style of play, in our own abilities, because we go down 2-1 to a team from the higher division and we do not even bat an eyelid. The only problem is, is now that I have to have a replay. Like every other round so far, I'm having to play two games. And while that is great for my account, for my <coughs> squad purposes, is not great. And Dover sat clear, which is acceptable because Dover struggled, but you'd like to see a bit more patience shown, especially when you're managing in this level. But anyway, we move on to the first round draw. We're still in it by way of having to replay Welling. So it'd be interesting to see who we get. And yeah, we've got Cambridge, who are... I believe currently the best side in the school Premier and that is a concern for my team because they are the probably the best side in the level sort of level above for me where I'm aspiring to go to but we'll see what happens. In terms of having the opportunity to beat them no, obviously I think that's still there. Same applies but you know you have to appreciate someone's craft also. Even if it is from afar. <laughs> As for the remainder though, we have to play Welling again, which obviously means my fixture congestion gets worse. But my finances are thoroughly pleased with the opportunity. <laughs> it's a catch-22 situation for a club of this level, but... Obviously, I'm always going to tell you, going as far as we can in the cup is going to take, you know 
priority over anything else. So we'll see how well they actually take it, but so far so good. And we got this home tie now against Welling. I think we can get a result. I mean, there are plenty of positive signs in the first tie or the first. Call it a leg, because <laughs> he drew it anyway. But hopefully the replay brings me more than the last did. And we're on the attack here. Booyah, 17 minutes in. Sanchez being the hero from the last game. Grabs another goal. Oh, it's offside. Was that offside? Oh, no, sorry. It is, it is a goal. Yeah, so we're 1 0 up. 27 minutes in now. And the only attacking note was that goal thus far. Hope to keep it that way. If we can sustain this lead, then that's fantastic. I've been really impressed by the way we've been playing, just sort of knocking about, keeping possession, keeping calm. I mean, it's really top stuff. So let's just put a little team talk in, ensure that everyone's still in positive mood. And off way. I mean, look at that. I don't think I've seen Welling have a proper chance yet. I don't want to jinx it. And that sounds like a massive jinx, what I just said, but. Oof. Yeah. I think that was probably their first attack on note, and that's more sort of a rebound shot. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that was a proper attack. So bring us some fresh legs, hopefully that'll make a difference. Still not a very eventful game, but here we are on the attacking and win the ball back. There's your second, Lewis Robedo, game over. Well, I hope so. <laughs> 20 odd minutes left and we are in the driving seat. My two wingers with the goals, and absence of Akinsen could have been more obvious, but we're still playing to a very, very high level, or for a Skrull South team anyway. Ooh, almost a third. Really, we're tearing Welling apart here. They're just having to deal wave after wave of attack, and they don't like the stuff. There's five minutes left, or only a minute left, and they haven't even. Yep. So there's a clean sheet as well to boot with that beautiful victory. And we are through to the first round proper. Get that money rolling in. <laughs> I know we're never going to win the FA Cup, but this is the next week's thing. Getting into the proper tournament. The hopes of playing league sides. I know we're playing Cambridge Town next, which is not a league side, it's a coverage side. But, you know, playing bigger teams, whatever shape or form they may take, is always good. Like, key chance with the sat dean holdsworth which is a shame but they're another underperforming side but that's not for me to worry about i'm sure they'll try and turn around their form my fo focus now is boston united in the fa trophy so this is a bit of a cup sort of series now <laughs> we'll playing three cup games on the bounce i'm actually a little bit worried about this boston game because Two big games against Welling, getting a good result. It takes energy out of you, so you put all of that effort in. And now you have to play another tournament team, another tournament game against a team that hasn't played as many games as you, well, in theory, anyway, in the past few weeks, or past week, let's say. So, in terms of fitness, they definitely have the upper edge, because, as I've mentioned, I'm sure many a time, squad depth is probably our biggest weakness. Well, we are pinging about well. No! One goal up already. 15 minutes in. Fantastic. I I mean, I can always rely on my wingers to just, you know, bring the heat every game. And while I got an injured player, they went on the attack, but I dealt with it pretty decently, but they're back on it. I like, I feel a lot more calmer with corners now, but there's still moments where the defense just sort of like goes to sleep, and that was definitely one of them. And look at that, they're just running through, and that goal is just 
clear evidence of what I was talking about. Barely a person there to even try and stop them. Which cannot happen. But it's 1 1 and we're going into half time. Obviously, that changes the complexion of my half time T dot. But oh! That does so too. Scotty Taylor. So it's. Yeah. That's a massive goal. I mean, big man for the big occasion. This is. Or like an ask for. I mean, like, that's more than I can ask for from my assistant to be such a good player manager. I mean, I want to be want looking to renew his contract, even though he's aging a bit. And that's your third. That should be the game. Tell Kamush. That is fantastic. Now the key is not to concede, <laughs> and we haven't been defending the best, but it's time to put that in tension. It's like a lay just a jinx there. Three two. Can't. Can we get another? There you go. Four two up. Surely now. Surely we've done enough. <laughs> I'm really nervous. I'm quite actually more edgy than I was against Welling, which is surprising. But got what, ten minutes left now. Brought some fresh legs. I'm pretty much on the edge of my seat. I'm I'm happy with this screen. It means nothing is happening. Time is going by and chances on ball oh, no, no, no. four three please <laughs> I'm really really nervous oh they're on the attack how how do I let them back in oh defending abysmal abysmal should have had that game just wrapped up there's pit that is so poor It's just really frustrating. So I have to play them again. And if it wasn't hard enough, I played three big cup ties. I think another one and it's just going to be... Next impossible, especially as I'm playing away now. But let's not get too down. Got to stay positive for the lads. Um, is that one now? Oop. That is just fantastic. Jody Thompson, was that... Fantastic. Call on her. Is that a second? Oh, I take it all back, lads. I take it all back. This is... We've got a pedo as well. Go on, lad. Bury it. Am I, like, living a dream right now? 28-7 minutes in, it's 3 nil up. This is just... Wow. Oh, no. Why that defending? <laughs> the defending is so poor, they just run in. Unopposed. It's just crazy. But here's another goal. I mean, it's five goals in total in 37 minutes. This is just something else. There's your half time. How do you even give a team tour for that? Fantastic stuff so far. But in the back of my mind, I'm saying just don't let that def that lead slip again. Could get away with it in one game, but did it again in this game. I just don't know. Okay, so there's four, what, 40 minutes left. Literally counting down a minute. It's already. <laughs> Okay, so this is the screen that I was liking. Even they come back to buy me in the ass. Just, well, some of the other games. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> 20 minutes left. Come on, lads. Let's get some fresh legs on. Let's protect this lead. Doing well. So far, so good. Let's go nine minutes or eight minutes or five minutes. One minute. 
time. Should be that's it. Surely that's it now. I don't care if they score. They can't. They can't do me like United did against Bayern United. Yes, there you go. Four two. <sighs> that was nerve wracking, but it was a great, great result. And now we're through to the FA Trophy second round. As well. So we have high flying Bath in the second round, but that's okay. I'm going to call it an episode here, and the next one will return to some league action. See you then. Bye-bye.